Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you how to open up the locked safe in the factory area of the Koshi complex. Alright, so if you've gone for the Koshi weapon case since season 4, you may have noticed that there's a locked safe to the left of the secure room. Well, unfortunately, you can't just walk up and unlock it like the normal safes in Almazra. You need to find a diamond bit drill in order to crack it open. Okay, so to get the diamond bit drill, you will need to go into the complex with an extra car battery and jumper cable. When you get out of your spawn, head to the middle of the dark room to one of the two lit rooms and grab an R4D detector. Now go to the south side of the dark room and place the car battery and jumper cable in this fuse box on the wall. This will allow you to enter the alpha cluster by opening either bunker door to the left or right of the fuse box. Once you get into the cluster, clear out the bots and head to this locked door on the west wall. Take out your R4D detector and use it to look at the hidden code above the keypad next to the door. The symbols that I had in this game are what I call blocky A, R, and B. Now what you need to do is find those three symbols on the six chalkboards around the room. The best route that I found for this is to jump over the railing in front of the keypad and turn around. Take out your R4D detector and use it to look at the chalkboard on the wall next to you. What you're looking for is one of those symbols with an arrow pointing to a number. They're usually inside one of the hexagons or circles on the chalkboard, but not every chalkboard has a symbol. Since this chalkboard didn't have anything, just move on to the next one. Jump across the servers next to you and go up onto the catwalk. Now run to the east and go past this pillar in the middle of the room. Right past that pillar is the next chalkboard. On this one, you can see that there is a B, which means that my code ends in a 2. I like to remember this by repeating to myself the remaining symbols and the numbers that I found. So in this game, I was saying blocky A, R, 2. The next chalkboard is on the south wall right behind this one. There is a curly A symbol here, but that isn't one of the ones I needed, so just move on to the next one. Mantle back up onto the servers and jump up onto the catwalk, then continue northeast. The fourth chalkboard will be on the left side of the wall, right past the next pillar. On this one, you can see that the R is 9, so my code is blocky A, 9, 2. Now turn around, and the fifth chalkboard will be on the wall right behind you. There is a symbol on this one, but it's not one of the ones I needed, so I just moved on. The sixth and final chalkboard is all the way at the northeast end of the room on the furthest side of the catwalk. You can see that blocky A is 7, so my final code is 792. There is a chance that you won't find all three of your numbers on these chalkboards. If that's the case, then you should have at least two of the numbers and could just brute force the last number. Now head back to the west wall and you can enter that combination into the keypad to unlock the door. Inside the room will be a bunch of loot including a diamond bit drill worth $1,000. Pick that up, then head out of the alpha cluster back to the dark room. Go straight across to the north wall and make sure to grab a factory admin key from one of the vents on the way. Open up one of the two doors on the north wall and continue into the factory area. Feel free to grab some armor plates and munitions boxes at the buy station, then head into the section of rooms to the north. Make your way through these rooms and you will end up in the factory wing area where you need to fight the rhino and sniper bosses. The best way to kill the Rhino is to use a shock charge, then absolutely blast him with a KV broadside. Once you kill the Rhino, the door to the east side of the room will unlock and you can go upstairs to fight the sniper. In this section, there are going to be a lot of laser trip wires that you want to go under as you continue through the various rooms shooting at the sniper. It is worth noting that a bomb drone can one-shot both of these bosses, so if you bring in two of them, then this section will be an absolute breeze. Once you kill the sniper, all the bots should stop spawning and he will drop a secure room key. Go to the location that pops up to use that secure room key and to the left of the door will be a locked safe. The only way to open the safe is to use the diamond bit drill that we picked up earlier. This safe takes a whopping 3 minutes to unlock which is considerably longer than the normal safes in DMZ. There will be a trickle of bots during this time but they should be really easy to take out one at a time. Once the safe is unlocked, you can open it up and you will get a 3 plate medic vest, stealth vest, and comms vest, a new item called Dr. M's lab notebook, and a bunker safe note. This safe takes quite a bit of time and killing to get to, but since it's next to the weapons case room with a bunch of other loot, I would say this is the new best way to gear up after dying in DMZ. If you found this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future.